Hey guys, Colton Rhodes, Hi Jung Ling, with you here on the last episode of I Can Read, for this book at least. As you can see, we're still finishing up Skinny Bitch. This is, from what I could see, was the last chapter, and it doesn't look like it's that long. It's just called Chapter 12, FYI, which means for your information. For your information. See what I did there? Okay, so here we go. Um, just because we wrote this book doesn't mean we're perfect. If you see us eating junk food or doing beer bongs, don't hold it against us. We believe in enjoying life and maintaining a healthy balance. We're human. Also, we have some fats, gross body parts too. We're women. Yeah, eating gross, uh, eating onions and garlic makes your breath smell like someone took a shit down your throat. But they fight cancer and help detoxify your liver, so eat them. What's all the drama surrounding hydrogen and oils? Well, we'll tell you. Manufacturers add hydrogen to the mono or polyunsaturated fats, good fats, in order to change their consistencies. The end result is trans fatty acids bad. It's a more solid product with a longer shelf life. Margins, butters, or margins, cookies, cakes, donuts, potato chips, meat, and dairy products, in short, can all contain hydrogenated oils. Trans fatty acids can cause derangements of cell structure, accelerated aging, and predisposition to diseases. Think about it. They're all literally altering naturally occurring products molecular structure by adding a hydrogen modules to it. Wow, I'm stumbling around now. Problems haven't been drinking, I'm just kind of tired. Eating these chemically altered foods containing hydrogenated oils will increase your risk of heart disease. It's sad to say, heating a oil at high temperatures also changes its natural molecular configuration and produces free radicals. Free radicals not only destroy essential fats and vitamins, but are also linked to cancer and heart disease. This is why olive oil and peanut oil, which are both healthy, can be very unhealthy in dishes like fried egg, plant, or french fries. Avoid eating fried foods. Sniffle. And reusing heated oils. Never heat an oil to the point where it is smoking. Cook with canola oil or coconut oil using low heat for the shortest amount of time possible. Don't be a cheap asshole. Yeah, yeah, organic produce is usually more expensive than conditional produce. We spend countless dollars on clothes, jewelry, manicures, magazines, rent or mortgages, car payments, other bullshit. Surely our health and our bodies, we only get one, are more important than anything else in our lives. Even if you are spending more on organic food, you'll save money in the long run if you're preparing more snacks at home, which is always cheaper than buying food on the fly. Organic is worth the extra money. You should aim to have everything you eat be organic. But especially when buying fruits or vegetables that you eat without peeling the skin. Always buy organic blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, apples, and pears. Peanuts are and peanut butter too. Because the conventional ones are loaded with pesticides. Buying organic produce is the only way to guarantee that you're not eating genetically modified organisms. According to food additives, a shopper's guide to what is safe and what's not, genes are taken from one species of plant or animal virus and sent to another species in order to produce a desirable trait such as disease resistance or hardier crops. No one knows the long term effects of eating genetically modified foods. Genetically modified foods are being sold now and they are not being labeled. Certified organic foods are only foods guaranteed to not be genetically modified. Brushing your teeth is a great way to wear off sweet cravings and stop yourself from eating. But two or three times a day, every day, your entire life, you swallow trace amounts of toothpaste. What's in it? Chemicals, artificial sweeteners. Would you eat it? Read the ingredients by natural. The skin's body is the largest organ. Every day, we slap all sorts of potions and lotions and makeup on ourselves and rub them into our skin. Ever read the ingredients on these products? Ever consider that you're putting chemicals directly into your largest organ? Ever think about all the pores over your body and what you're putting inside them? Hopefully you will now. By natural beauty products, what you put on your body is just as important what you put in your body, because in essence, what you put on your body will end up in your body. Especially on body parts you shave, pluck, or wax. Open pores do not want chemicals bulldozing through you. Are your de de deodorant, makeup, perfumes, and lotions safe? You can go to... You can get too much of a good thing, so don't overdose on water. You'll flush unnecessary salt supplies right out your body. Eight glasses a day is a good target. Natural and refined Celtic sea salt, different from table salt, has many essential minerals, and enhances organ function, neutralizes toxins, and it contributes to the hydration of our cells and organs. Buy a food steamer. It will change your life. Do yoga. It's a kick-ass cardio workout that will... Strengthen, tone, and harden your muscles. Yoga is amazing for organ function, immune system strength, tackling insomnia, improving PMS symptoms, and menstrual cramps, and overall health. You will love how it makes you look and feel. All kidding aside, if everyone did yoga, we would have world peace. Donate blood. You can save a life and lose weight at the same time. Keep your eyes peeled for bad press regarding veganism. It's usually planted by the industries that are threatened by the movement. 
Don't believe any of it. It's all bogus bullshit. One study claimed that feeding children a vegan diet was a tantamount to child abuse. It just so happens that the natural, National Cattlemen's Beef Association paid for the study. They had all the gall to experiment on African children who were literally starving. These children were eating nothing but corn and beans and minuscule servings. When servings of meat were added to their diets, their health improved. Well, of course it did. They were fucking starving. This doesn't prove that veganism is dangerous or unhealthy. It just shows that National Cattlemen's Beef Association will exploit starving, impoverished children to create bad press for veganism and boost its own meat cells. This is nothing short of a disgrace and an embarrassment to America. I lied. There isn't one more chapter. I think. It's just one more. Alright, well that is it for chapter 12. I will see you in chapter 13. And it is called Use Your Head. Sounds good. As usual, like, comment, subscribe, and have a great day.